Hi, this is Mr. Cardoso. Welcome to the second video on um, Introduction to Java, Programming in Java. In this video, we're going to look at two things, creating a program skeleton in Java, and as well, um, how to comment in Java. So, go ahead and open your doc to Java, uh, and uh, right away we're going to get started. So here, um, I'm going to put some comments in. Comments are, are ignored by the compiler, and what they're for is for communication, explaining what your program does. Um, so th th there's no uh, program code in the comments. It's for communicating to other programmers what the program is supposed to do and what its purpose is. So to start comments, comments will always turn green. I'll put a slash and a star, so shift 8, for multi-line comments. And this starts the comments. Okay, So everything turns green and this will be ignored. So I can type whatever I want here. Um, good programming style, of course, is to write a description. So if I press enter, I know, uh, typically good programming so that it looks nice. Um, we don't write any comments on that first line with the slash and the star. We'll press enter once and we'll go to the next line and we start typing our purpose here. So, the purpose of this program is to explain how to create a program scale and once I reach the, the end of the, the line I just press enter and continue on the next line skeleton skeleton in Java and to explain the purpose of commenting code okay so once I'm finished with um, my, my comments I'll go to the next line uh, again it, you can end it up here um, by putting a star and a slash, so you're putting the two symbols in reverse order and that will end it so that you can see if I type after that or on the next line it's not green anymore which means it's actually being considered to be program code but it's nicer to put that on the next line again so you can see it's all sort of not lining up in a nice pattern in fact before we finish with our comments it's good practice to put the author of the program so um, you can put the at symbol, shift and two, and author. We'll explain why you do that later. And you can then put your name. And then the date modified, and we can say February 18th. Okay, so that's good indication. Think of this like your title page to your essay or report. Now, let's go ahead and start with our skeleton in Java. Since this program, its, its purpose is to um, explain the skeleton. Uh, I'm going to call my class skeleton. Okay, um, So we start with the word class. We'll explain what that means later. So a lot of this in the skeleton is hard to understand at the moment, but um, in due time you will understand what all of these words mean. This is a word chosen by you. So this is a class name that describes what your program is supposed to do. Since it's about the skeleton in Java, I'll call it skeleton. If you have more than one word in your class name, then you will do this, for example, skeleton in Java. And notice how we capitalize the starting letter of every um, word in Java. Of course, you cannot put spaces. Spaces are not allowed. Um, so make sure that you eliminate the spaces, and then we can indicate and make it more readable by capitalizing um, every word. Now, that opens the class. Uh, to actually, well, that's the class name, and then we need to open the class by using an open brace, and then we close the class down below. Okay, so all of our program code must go in between the open and close brace, so it's got to be inside this class skeleton in Java. Now, within this, we have the type public static void main string args open close and close bracket. Now. Um, this is called the main method. Again, um, a lot of this will be hard to understand at this point, but we are asking you to take it on faith, and soon you'll learn what these words mean, public, static, void, main, and so on. But for now, make sure that your structure looks as so. Okay, so um, no mistakes here. This should be a small lowercase p, for example. If you put a capital P, it would not work. Um, this should be a capital S. So it's very picky. Um, also notice how we've opened and closed the class here, and we've opened and closed the method. Here. Uh, this is called the main method. We've opened and closed the main method here. So all of our program code must be inside. 
And by the way, this is how you comment a single line. So we comment single lines to explain, within the code we typically use the slash slash to comment a single line to explain uh, what that program code is doing in any confusing part. Okay? And again, we can do multi-line comments in here if we need to, but typically we don't um, just because uh, we, we generally are commenting just a few things at a time in single lines. So, um, also notice that once I open the class, just so that you can see the structure again to make it more readable, what I've done here is I've opened and closed the class, then I press the tab key, so I've indented. And so now everything inside the class is one indentation level in, to the right. And then once I've created my main method, and I've opened and closed that, I indent again, so now I'm two indentation levels in. So all my program code here should be, I'm um, sorry, that should have semicolon, that's why it's trying, should be on this two indentation levels in. So this is where my program code goes. Of course, now if I try to compile this, um, these are not recognized program codes or instructions. So let's go ahead and try to compile this. I press compile and it's going to ask me to save my program. So let's go ahead and you should do this. I'm going to do it on my C drive, but if you're at school, make sure you're going to your H drive and I'm going to make a folder called ICS3U. And then within that folder, let's make another folder called exercises. Does it let me rename it? Yeah. Exercises. And within that folder, I'm going to call this skeleton in Java. Now, that's really important. The class name or the file name should match the class name exactly. And notice how because I've created the class already, it's already giving me that class name. So make sure they match exactly or the program won't compile and you'll have an error. Um, this will save automatically if you're using the Dr. Java IDE. It will automatically save as .java. So I don't have to worry about putting that .java extension in. So I can just leave that and press save. So I've saved it and now it's going to try to compile it. And it's saying, okay, you've got some errors here because I don't recognize this. So let's go ahead and take that out. So let's take that program code out just to see. And if I compile this, okay, it actually does compile this time. And then if I go to, uh, the inter uh, to run over here, um, and, and it runs and it does nothing. That's because we've created our structure, we've created our skeleton, but there's no program code within that actually does something. So let's go ahead and add a line of code that outputs something to the screen. Typically we do this with um, an output statement and the output statement looks like this. System.out.println okay. We open the bracket, we open quotations and uh, we close quotations sorry I'm not sure what I've done there and we put a semicolon at the end now so that's going to print uh, that's our command to output something to the screen and make sure you have your semicolon at the end so whatever I put in between these semi uh, these uh, quotations will appear on the screen so I'll type hello world and that will appear on the screen so if I press now, if I press run without compiling, it'll say, "Hey, um, you didn't compile this, so make sure you compile it first. So press compile, and then press run, and there you have it. It's saying, "Hello world." So this is our single line of code in this very simple program that will I'll put something in the screen. So you can see now what your uh, program skeleton looks like. Again, this is your choice and it should be something appropriate to what your program does. Make sure you put your comments, your name and the date up here and you uh, make sure you indent everything accordingly and this line of code should be exactly as is and here depending on what your program is supposed to do this this code inside here will be changed of course but that's your pr basic program skeleton. Join us next time and we'll look at uh, more complex programs.